Well, a new year also brings a whole new list of laws and regulations. And Jane Wells tonight has some of the more notable and even the more bizarre laws now in effect for 2015. From California, where illegal residents can now apply for driver's licenses, to New York, where you now have to recycle old tech gadgets, new laws reflect a changing America. From a worker perspective, about 20 states are raising their minimum wage, the highest being Washington State, which is closing in on $9.50, though in Seattle it's already 15 bucks. And in Illinois, employers can no longer ask about a criminal history on initial job applications. From a business perspective, in Massachusetts, out-of-state wineries can now ship wine directly to consumers there, potentially lowering prices. And in healthcare, Arizona will allow residents to try medical treatments, which have gone through clinical trials but are not yet FDA approved. And then there's California. Over 900 new laws are taking effect in the Golden State. Where do you start? Mandatory breast pumping stations at California airports. Mandatory sick leave for employees after they've worked the first 30 days. And on college campuses receiving state aid, students have to clearly consent to sex. No means no isn't enough. Being drunk isn't consent. And the burden of proof switches to the accused. But wait, there's more. All eggs sold in California must now come from chickens, which have about a square foot of space per bird, twice the traditional average. Even egg producers outside of California sending eggs here have to abide by the new rules. One report suggests that could send egg prices up as much as 40 percent. Also in California, restaurants which want to allow dogs now can if they follow certain rules. But of all the new laws about animals, none is more amazing than the one in New York, banning so-called tiger selfies, photos of people dangerously close to big cats. Sounds like it's still legal to sit next to the tiger, just don't take a picture of it. But then what's the point? For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jane Wells.